Citizens of the Reject Nation, hello, my name is Aaron Alexander, and this is Mr. Andrew Gordon. How you doing, Andrew? I am doing well. I'm ready to be spooked. Ooh, spooky season for the Halloween time. Today, we're watching 28 Days Later, a zombie movie neither him or I have seen, and I know nothing about it. What do you know about this? I know that Killian Murphy's in it, and that's it. Killian Murphy, Mr. Oppenheimer himself. Yes. Mr. Scarecrow himself. Come on, let's give him his Dark Knight trilogy vibes that we owe him. Today, wearing a Batman shirt. How I'm are you wearing not a calling Batman him Scarecrow? Shirt. I know, I know. <laughs> Shame on me. Dang it. Diggity dang. You guys, leave a like on this video. We're going to have a great time for you people watching at home. We want to watch the full length thing with us. Full length reaction watch alongs. Sync up with your own copy at home for you super sexy rejects out there. John and Greg cover several shows at patreon.com slash the real rejects exclusively with reaction highlights and watch alongs included. Okay, guys, I hope you're ready. Hope you're ready for this magical experience. And uh, yeah, it's a me and Andrew video, baby. It's the first time doing it. So let's yes. get it. All right, get ready. R.I.P. I apologize if I get loud on some of these scares. It's okay. Ah, oh, see? All right. Yep. All right. We're here. Is this Last of Us before Last of Us? It's giving those vibes for sure. Oh, God. What is this, oh, 2020? That's a great transition out of the TV there. Ah, uh, wow. I like that. I like that. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a gorilla being forced to watch humanity's trauma good Aww. god no it's a chimp Bingo. reminds me of pogo oh, oh no, no. <laughs> oh there's a bunch of them Hmm. Is this the alternative universe to Planet of the Apes? Oh my god, there's a freaking monkey head in there. Oh my god. I know what you think you're doing. You don't want to get hurt. Keep your mouth shut and don't move a muscle. The chimps are infected. Oh no. Oh god. Infected with what? Rage. What the f He's talking about this. Get the cages open. Oh no! If they're infected. Oh, you dummies! I just they are freedom fighters, so they want to help them, but they're really yeah. dooming humanity. What? Oh no! You have no idea. Oh. Ah. That's vicious. Oh my ah. god! Oh god! Oh no! I hate this. Oh Jesus! Ah! Oh God! Yo! Ah. Not in the face, dude. No way. Oh, she's. Uh, she's finished. Already she's infected. Zombie. Oh God! Ah! Ah! Oh my God! That was. Scary. Oh, oh. 28 days later. The title of the movie, guys. Roll credits. That was a freaky opening. Okay. Is that, is that Killian Eye? It looks like a Killian Eye, but we shall see. It's definitely a Killian Eye. Look at that. Oh, oh God. Whoa. What the hell? Hey. Oh, shit. Is that what he was talking about? I think that's what Greg was talking about. Mm. It's his Oppenheimer. Killian, put your Murphy away, dog. <laughs> this reminds me of, of Rick Grimes from uh, Walking Dead. Coral, Coral! 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 Hello? The cinematography, the way it's filmed. I just want to know, what's the... Why are they leaving him just, like, butt-ass naked in the hospital? Like, no gowns? You don't got yeah. gowns? Okay, he has clothes now, but... Yeah was like let's just leave him just like gout open you know were they operating on him like what the what's the deal guys hello the firefighters haven't shown up yet okay product placement <laughs> never came out of a coma and was like oh damn i need a, a freaking pepsi 
Hey, if they're going to put up some of the budget, you got to take care of them, right? Is this London? Or where are we? Maybe it is oh, this London. is the UK. Yeah, okay. it's London. And what was this guy going through? I wouldn't be shocked if um, they took some inspiration when they made Last of Us from this film. Because I'm, I'm f getting some vibes feel. Same. The, the music because is very similar yeah, as well. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking that too. But this obviously came out way before, way before Last of Us. Yeah. Hello! Can you imagine just walking through a an actual city and there's nothing going on. I mean, it's like nice in terms of going to get somewhere, but also freaky at the same point. It is. It's eerie. That's yeah. how, that's how it was during COVID. COVID. You know? oh, <laughs> I do remember that. Like in LA, I was like driving places. I'm like, this is awesome in terms of traffic, but it's like you said, it's eerie at the same point. <laughs> it was so nice. Like I'd go anywhere and get anywhere. It's so, so peaceful. Is that an infected uh, wound? Yeah. Be, well, I mean, we did see, I, I guess it maybe I don't know the rules of this world yet, but we did see with the, the character who got infected by the monkey that she got turned pretty quickly, but also that was a bite to the neck. So I don't know if maybe in the arm it takes longer. So. Yeah. Or maybe he had the, um, the IV still in his arm. That cured it? Maybe? I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually really digging the cinematography so far. It's interesting. Yeah, same. Gives you like almost like to a claustrophobic zombie-esque feel. Just realizing this moment, I don't think I've ever seen Killian Murphy with a beard before. Um, I have. Quite yeah. quiet place too. Oh, you're right. Another <laughs> <laughs> You got me there. You got him. You got me there. The zombies haven't even started yet. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> if a if a car alarm gets me. I'm 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 done for the rest of the film. <laughs> I mean, hey, if it was real life, it'd get me too. Yeah. You know what this reminds me of too? What? Again, obviously, this came out way before Avengers: Endgame when Ant Man is discovering like totally. Where? Yo! Yeah, that must have been inspiration for the yeah, scene. 100%. Yeah. What is happening? So if you woke up like he did and you knew there was nobody there, would you still walk around with clothes on? Probably. Still mosquitoes. There's other things to protect yourself from. You're extremely nigh. The end is extremely nigh. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Are those dead people? That's what it looks like. Oh, no. Unless he went to a haunted house that was abandoned. This is heavy, dude. In the flies, too? Yeah. Ugh, That's what Marty McFly used to say. Hello? Ah! Get the... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Dude, get out of there. Hell no. Hell no. Bro, ah. you, better, you better hit her with that bag or something or just run. Yeah, but what's in that bag? Is it supplies? <laughs> yeah. Father? Normally in movies and shows, they're slow. Are they fast here? Okay. Oh, no, they're fast. Father, are you okay? I'm pretty sure he's not, dude. Like, that's yeah. right. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. You're going to hell now. You hit oh. the you hit the dead priest. You're going to hell. That Congratulations. Make, that makeup is really good. It is really good. Yeah, I love the way it's shot. Well, it gives you a sense like you're almost there, literally with him too. Mm hmm. Yeah. God, every noise. Oh, free, freedom fighters. They gonna run into the gas station? I feel like an explosion's about to happen. This is wild. Boom. Yeah! Okay, that one got me. 
Damn. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love that oh. that wide angle shot. That shows us the scope of the explosion. That's yeah. Great. That was pretty cool. Did that too in Dark Knight and Robocop when they get those wide ex big explosion shots. This is why he's here. He know he knows stuff. He catches all the things. Sometimes, sometimes. Man walks into a bar with a giraffe. Hey, you just get pissed. The giraffe falls over. The man goes to leave. And Barman says, Oi, you can't leave that lion there. He says, No, it's not a lion. It's a giraffe. What? So who are you? We are from a hospital, yeah? Is that doctor. Naomi he's Harris? He's not a doctor. He's a patient. I can't tell. I'm a bicycle carrier. It's a bicycle carrier. It's just a guy. I was riding a package from uh, Farringdon to Shaftesbury Avenue and a car cut across me. And then I wake up today in hospital. I wake up and I'm... What's your name? Jim. I'm Mark. This is Selena. Can't tell if that's him or huh? It was happening in small villages, market towns. And then it wasn't on the TV anymore. It was in the street outside. It was coming through your windows. It was a virus. Woof. Something in the blood. By the time they tried to evacuate the cities, it was already too late. The army blockades were overrun. And that's when the exodus started. Spread like wildfire. Yeah, well, it would in real life, too, yeah. What about the government? What are they doing? There's no government. Of course there's a government. There's always a government. They're in a, a bunker or a plane. <laughs> You're the first uninfected person we've seen in six days. Wow. Where's your family? They're dead. Like Selena's. Yours will be dead too. They live in Deptford. I can walk it, okay? Well, you'll go and come back, yeah? Careful. Hey, chill out. Drink a Pepsi. Come on, guy. Get a grip. You never go anywhere alone unless you've got no choice. Unless the two you only travel during daylight. Never say you'll be right back. Hey, it's a moment. We'll all go and find your dead parents together, okay? It's going to say the horror movie rule is never say you'll be right back. This is this is one of the rules. Or split up. Never split up. Makes sense though that nighttime is I mean, we also learned that too in uh, I Am Legend it came out after this. Technically the book came out before Oh right, right, right. And also the movie Om me, Omega Man, about. right? Omega Man. Charlton Heston. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, this music's giving me vibes of the Dark Knight Rises? Was like yeah, we're in the football stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was actually uh, Pittsburgh Steelers Stadium. Heinz mm. Field? Heinz Stadium? Thing. What a lovely, lovely voice. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. Wait. Oh, thank Man. you. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> I appreciate it. You're welcome, Andrew. I took over for Heath Ledger and for the Scarecrow and Ra's al Ghul. <laughs> oh, no. No. Oh, <laughs> Ugh. Oh man, that's oh, this is so sad. It actually, this reminds me of Last of Us. Yeah, yeah episode was just, three. Yeah, exactly. Bill and Frank. Yeah, yeah. man. I've been watching this. I realized how like influential this movie was. Influential this was for Last of Us for sure. For a lot of oh, yeah. zombie properties. Yeah, I, I would. I can. I mean, we're only a half hour in. I can understand why. Yeah. Is this the one Zack Snyder directed? No, he did not. I don't believe he directed. Oh, that's Dawn of the so. Dead. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen that either. I haven't, I haven't seen that either. We should stay here tonight. My room is up at the top. You two can have to stay here. No, we'll all sleep in the same room. It's safer. Yeah, man. When when global tragedy strikes, it's it's crazy. To, I mean, there's real people like, and, humanity to become. And also when it's something like that, there's no escape. I mean, you can do yeah. your best to fight it off, but there's no escaping. Like, you can't take a flight somewhere or do something like that. I mean, no, no, it's everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, nice cool dream. transition. Nice transition, Again. yeah. Well, the TV one, then this one. I mean, okay, really movie. Don't... You got shots. You're real sad, but you got some shots on you. I would definitely not be able to sleep after discovering anything. Oh, hell no. <laughs> you just woke up, too? You know what I would be able to do? What? Drink a Pepsi. I would definitely drink a Pepsi. <laughs> take a, take back like like six Pepsis. Get Pepsi wasted. Aww. This is so sad, dude. Just the image of like that guy's shoes. Just... Jim. Oh man. Are you back? Yeah. Straight from the carton like a savage. Let me drink it out, will you? 
It's empty. <laughs> oh no. Is the zombie seeing it? Ah! Ah! <laughs> no! Machete? Dude, you can't turn on lights, bro. Did they explain that rule? I forgot. Uh, I know they said stick together. Oh, he's be cutting his hand wide open on that glass. Were you a bitten? Oh. Did any of the blood get in your mouth? Ooh. Uh oh. Uh. Ooh, I hate it. Wait. We're gonna kill Mark? Oh, oh no! Oh! 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 Jesus! Oh, that's his fault too. Did she kill him or just cut his arm off? I couldn't tell. It looked like it was more than that. Get dressed. We have to leave now. She murdered that guy. She murdered the hell out of that guy. Look, if someone gets infected, you've got between ten and twenty seconds to kill them. It might be your oh. brother or your sister or your oldest friend. It makes no difference. I, uh, that sounds like foreshadowing to, for her. I was just going to say the same thing. So you know where you stand? If it happens to you, I'll do it in a heartbeat. And he's not going to want to do it, and she's going to turn. He's going to have no choice. Yeah. Do you want us to find a cure and save the world or just fall in love and f It's not a bad plan. I mean, just go to a farm somewhere. You could live a good life. He I looks extremely unhealthy. A gaunt. Sk skinny. Yeah, I was thinking the same. Maybe it's just the hood. I think it's just the beanie. The beanie makes him look extra skinny. Extra Jesse Pinkman. You got to give props to the uh, set design team. The production design, it's phenomenal so yeah. far in this film. No, truly. Do you need a break? No. No. I just need a Pepsi. <laughs> Now I do need a break. <laughs> Pepsi break. <laughs> it's the energy drink I need. I've got a headache. Well, why didn't you say something before? Well, because I didn't think you'd give a shit. You've got no fat on you, and all you've had to eat is sugar. Yeah, dude. So pump me full of painkillers and give you more sugar. As for sugar, Pepsi. Ah! <laughs> I was just saying it as a joke. I didn't think we were actually going there. <laughs> yes. Quiet. That's infected. Oh, sure no. enough. But they, I mean. Can they get? Oh, they're fast. They're, they're fast, fast now. Yeah. It's like runners in Last of Us fast. Yeah. yeah. There's different classes or different kinds yeah. of them. Wait for me, please. Flashlight on a stick. Wait for me. <laughs> she ain't waiting for your ass, bro. She's gone. I mean, yeah, it's every person for themselves when they're coming after you. She's Usain Bolt, my guy. She's got it here. Ooh. Down the corridor, flat one, five, seven. Yay! Ooh. This is really intense. Yeah, because I'm even because like in most zombie things, yeah, you know, who do you who can you trust? You know, even even the humans are monsters. So, oh, Frosty Brand is that Brandon Gleason? Is that Mad Eye Moody? This is my daughter. Oh, wow. Come on, sweetheart, say hello. Where's Harry Potter? <laughs> Yeah, when you don't trim and you use a blade like that, that's going to hurt badly, like really bad. Do you know from experience? I've done that before. Yes, that hurts. We have a spare room. In there. Are you in Selena? Going to smash? Oh, no, no, no. no. I'll take the living room. It's fine. Are you going to bump uglies? You can if you want to. I mean, got a spare room. So what do you make of them? Well, they're desperate. Probably need us more than we need them. I think they're good people. Lost his wife. You should be more concerned about whether they're going to slow you down. Right, because if they slowed you down... I'd leave them behind. In a heartbeat. Yeah. Clearly she would, because she almost left our guy over here. 
Lost water pressure three weeks ago. For a while I thought we'd be okay with the water in the other flats. Cisterns and tanks. Whoa. Well, I mean, you gotta have a way to have get water. Uh, yeah. Smart. We're all empty. It hasn't rained in ten days. Ah. Uh, you can set up a plastic sheet to catch dew and condensation. Trap it somehow. Oh, smart. You'd never think it. Needing rain so badly. Not in England. <laughs> I does, feel like those baskets are not going to be very helpful. You see the the basket with all the holes, like a laundry basket? Uh-huh. Why, why is that there? Who's that for? There haven't been any broadcasts for weeks. Just listen. The answer to infection is here. Mm. If you this, you're not alone. Where are they? We are soldiers and we are armed. Oh, my God. Quiet, there's more. is the 42nd blockade of the M602, 27 miles northeast of Manchester. What? So it's a recording? Yeah, it's a recording. If it's a recording, for all we know, the soldiers who made it are dead. That's a good point. Yeah, it's risky. Well, the only way to find out is to reach... We could die at trying, Frank. Or die here. I mean, they're going to run out of water soon anyways. Yeah. We need each other. And we'll never be safe in the cities. The soldiers could keep us safe. So we have to try and get there. If it's not a trap... Get there how? Oh wow! Oh, I thought it was a tank at first. Well, they're only going to have a limited amount of gas. So. True. What you think? Well, it's the most direct route to the other side of the river. Then we should take the indirect route, the one that's in broad daylight and that's not underground. Uh, Let's just get it done. I would not go through that tunnel. Not a smart idea, guys. But then the other flip side is you're going to run out of gas faster, taking the longer. But then you don't face I. I these yeah, are tough decisions, but I would not go through that that tunnel. Oh, no. Yeah, they both have their pros and cons, but this is a uh, yeah, hell no. Because it's really obviously a shit idea. So at least they're acknowledging it's a shit idea. I mean, Matt Rife has a point. Obviously a shit idea. Hold on. Ooh. That was Damn. not smart. That was freaking dummy. Why would you? Why would you do that? World's worst place to get a flat, huh? Agreed. I think we better do this quick. I mean, you guys got a a whole sea of cars you guys could pick from to get another tire if you needed it. And you're gonna be making noise as well. True. You got no guns either because they don't have guns in the UK. They just have little, they have knives uh. and machetes. Hey, hey, do you hear that? Uh oh, God. Uh oh. Are those rats? Ah! No, 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 no. Are they normal rats or zombie rats? Oh, 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 God. Uh. I think Gross. they're. Uh, uh oh. Running from the infected. That's what I oh, had even a feeling. Though, even the rats are scared of the infected. Wow. Drive! That might have been a world record I've ever seen for fastest spare tire. Right, on. seriously. But I'm glad they did it in record time. They're head to. Of course, we know. Straight to. Straight to the Pepsi. Pepsi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ugh, oh, moldy fruit. Everything here. is moldy. Except for these apples. Don't take anything that needs to be cooked, okay? I was going to mm. say, yeah, anything that needs to be cooked, you can't take. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, and they can come in handy if they need a multiple oh, cocktail. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Either we do this now, or we're walking. Stay close, Jim. Oh, okay. They're gonna take it out of the gas thing and put it into the. Oh yeah, that'd be smart. <laughs> Siphon it. Where's yeah, your, exactly. Yeah, where's your? Uh, don't you need the tube for that? You need to like suck it a little bit. Oh, they got the tube too. Cool. 
I would have waited until like we were ready to go though to go into a place like this that has no lights in it. If you're gonna try and get something like this, like until you're fully ready to go, this is not the smartest move in my opinion. Oh, damn! I really would not be in there right now. All died where they. Like, dude, get out of there. You just called how crappy it was that you, stupid it was that you were driving in that tunnel. Get out of there. Hello? Hey, uh, you dumbass. Yeah. Dude, you have to. It's a kid. You have to do it. It's still a zombie. Yeah. Oh, it sucks. It was a kid, but you had no choice. Find anything, Jim. No, let's get out of here. Was that his first kill of the movie? Maybe. Because I think she she had to she had to help him before. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't like taste of vitamin C. This must feel so normal for them right now in such a not normal time. I like how balanced this movie feels. It, if you notice, it alternates between like a scary scene and a peaceful, like yeah, uplifting scene. But, but still, even when we're in the scenes that are not scary, like you're still aware of like anything can change at any moment. Right. You have this, this sense of danger. Yeah. If it's not. Like a family. Do you think they're infected? No. Look at the horses. The ponies. Danger's fine. I hope they're able, by the end of the film, to find a place that's peaceful and away from all the infected. I feel like this is like the giraffe scene. Oh, good point. Movie. Good point. Yeah. yeah. Ellie and Joel, yeah. The the music that they chose to go with with that scene, too, it's almost in, in tone, Sam. That's what you were thinking. I was thinking I was wrong. But what? Leaving you behind. All the death. All the shit. It doesn't really mean anything to Frank and Hannah because well, she's got a dad and he's got his daughter, so I was wrong when I said that staying alive is as good as it gets. Aww. I feel like something bad's gonna happen now. Of course. Yeah. I don't it's either us. her or the dad. Or both. Yeah, I could see a situation where it's just killing Murphy and the daughter. Ooh. Surviving. I mean, this movie does thrive on bleakness, so. Yeah. Oh. oh I was just about to say I feel some romantic some tension. Ooh, chemistry. It's getting light. I think we better stay here for the night. Is that a safe place to be? I oh. can't sleep. Me neither. Doesn't feel safe, does it? I think we're safe enough. Yep. <laughs> you don't say that in zombie movies. I'm investing in you guys now. I want you guys to make it. Don't say things like that. Selena didn't seem to have any trouble. Hey, Selena. Oh. What is it? Don't you go to sleep? Isn't the rule someone's got to stay awake just for guard duty? Yeah. Bloody hell. Must have needed a hell of a prescription for that lot. I didn't need a prescription. I qualified as a chemist. Oh. Uh. I hope. I was going to say, I hope they're loading the car. <laughs> okay, why would they let him sleep the la the, to the last drop of sleep? Oh, did he leave his bat? Oh. Do you think that noise... Well, they don't come out during the daylight, so I think Plus, they should be good. They right? can outdrive the zombies, even if it is a little honky honk. I was wrong. I thought they were definitely going to die. Oh, we still got some time left. They like an hour left. You know, they could still meet their demise. But which one uh, are you predicting? The uh, dad or I think he's gonna have to Selena? Kill his, I think he's going to have to kill Selena. He's going to have to kill his lady. But he's going to hesitate and not want to, and she's going to turn. That's what I'm thinking. The whole of Manchester, the whole city. Can you see what they're looking at? Because I can't tell. Oh, boy, now I can a little bit. Oh, wow. that's a city on fire. Wow. 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 Oh, boy. Turn back. Turn back. No, 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 no. I'm amazed that they made it this far. Well, they all, yeah, but. Oh, but two siphon, tanks, siphon, two tanks, siphon. tanks now. Siphon, you're right. You're right. There's a helicopter there, nice. I don't understand, Dad. Did they leave? I don't like this. I think we should go. No! Maybe it's a trap. Vehicles. We should take the vehicles. There has to be something. Where are the fireflies? <laughs> Can't believe it. We have to go. Yeah. Go! In where? 
He <laughs> scared the crap out of me. More than the alarm in the beginning? It's right there. <laughs> ah. Death. Get out of it. Don't make noise. Don't make more noise. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Come on, dude. Dad, are you all right? The odds of that happening. Yeah, I'm fine, sweetheart. No. Sorry, I lost my temper. Oh, no. <laughs> I this love you is very awful. much. What? Keep away from me. Oh, no. Oh, Stay where you are. Keep away from me! Dad? Keep away from me! Keep away from me! He's 20 seconds. Keep away! Keep away! Oh no, 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 no. Oh, they were there the whole time? Yep, yep. Damn. Why Damn. didn't you guys tell them? Damn. Why didn't you guys tell them you were there? One male, two female. 88, 50. Put a kill on. That sucks. The dad passed not knowing that he, he found them. Yeah. Right as uh, the hope was lost, but he had to be the sacrifice to to get them safety. It's really tragic. But now I'm curious, how do they, do they rule through an author authoritarian rule or just like, hey, we're, we're freedom fighters? The doctor, oh. Christopher Eccleston himself. What? What? What is this movie? Malekith. I could be wrong. I, again, I could totally be wrong, but I think he actually auditioned for Scarecrow as well in Batman Begins. But again, I could be totally, totally wrong. I think I read that, though. We've got beds with clean sheets and a boiler oh. that produces hot water. So you can all have a shower. You look like you need one. <laughs> you know who did audition for Malekith, though? And basically got the role and had to turn it down at the last second? Mads Mikkelsen. Really? Yeah, I'm glad he didn't get that role, though. Yeah, but then he got another lame Marvel role. <laughs> yeah, but that was still better than Malekith, because I think Malekith is... True! More Killian ass. Why? How is she doing? Well, she's lost her dad, Jim. That's how she is. You guys are laughing if <laughs> Comey just died in front of you. I mean, I get, like, why she's joking around about his question being so dumb, but he wanted to see how, like, uh. Uh oh she's trying to mask. Oh, <laughs> I feel so bad now. Look, honey, it's what Frank says. She's okay. She's, she's tough and she's strong and she'll cope just like I'll cope and just like you'll cope. I don't want her to have to f cope. <sighs> when her dad had to it was okay. It was okay for them and it was okay for us. <sighs> Oh, now I really don't want anything to happen to her. Okay, the kid's in the room, guys. Just, just saying. What? 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 Oh. Oh, is she pulling away because she doesn't want to get emotional? Get close to her. Get him. close, yeah. We're just hoping for the answer to infection. Well, as I said before, it's here. Though it may not be quite what you imagined. Just feel very lucky to have found you. You're quite safe here. I don't trust them. I don't know why, but I don't. Mm. Do you? Something about that head rub was pretty sus. Yeah. And we've been lacing the ground with trip wires and landmines. You wouldn't want to mow the lawn, but if they get in, we hear them. Secondary to protection, our real job is to rebuild. Hmm. And lastly, Must have missed meet Mela. Ah! Got infected two days ago. Mitchell managed to knock him out cold, and we got a chain round his neck. Keeping him alive. To work on the cure for? The idea was to learn something about infection. Have him teach me. Oh. Oh. Ah. He's telling me he'll never bake bread. Plant crops. Oh, those eyes, man. Yeah. And eventually he'll tell me how long the infected take to starve to death. Oh. Ugh, give me the chills. What have we here? Tin ham, tin peas, tin beans, and are they cannibals? No, I oh, oh. Omelette. You prepared a feast, Jones. Honor of our guests, sir. Can we see the omelette? I'm very particular about my eggs here. 
See. James, did you notice while cooking that these eggs are off? Sus omelette. I, I, th I thought the salt might cover the taste, sir. Get rid of it. Never over salt the eggs, homie. You ruin the whole dish. If you look at the whole life of the planet, we has only been around for a few blinks of an eye. So if the infection wipes us all out, that is a return to normality. Humanity starts anew. This is what I've seen in the four weeks since infection. People killing people, which to my mind puts us in a state of normality right now. Oh no, they're gonna hit the landmines? I don't want to eat. I wanna bury my dad. He's one of the people you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Called it. Is pretty expansive. Damn. Wow. That's a lot. Damn. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Whether these guys are good or bad, I I would still want to be there with them. They got a lot of firepower. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, clear. Well protected for sure. I'm just worried that Hannah's gonna leave and want to get her dad's body, and that's gonna cause a problem. You ain't gonna be needing this anymore, <laughs> eh? Cause you got me to protect you now. Everyone. <laughs> oh God. Easy, Tiger. You don't wanna go picking a fight with me, son? Oh. oh. Who have you killed? Have I haven't killed anyone. Since it began, who have you killed? You wouldn't be alive now if you hadn't killed somebody. A little boy. A little boy. That's why that scene was there. Good boy. But you had to. Otherwise, he'd have killed you. You could have not said anything. You could have not killed that kid. I understand. I promised them women. Eight days ago, I found Jones with his gun in his mouth. Oh, man. He said he was going to kill himself because there was no future. What could I say to him? What do nine men do except wait to die themselves? I moved us from the blockade, I set the radio broadcasting, and I promised them women. Oh, oh no. That's terrible. We have to go. Jim, no, come on! Come on. I, don't right. think, I don't think they're going to let them go, though. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh. We go. Oh. Dude, come on. Is this the only way you can keep them there? That's his girlfriend, dude. Oh, no. This is, dude, come on, you He's guys the are only not, good one. You guys are not enemies. Like, stop this nonsense. Oh, man. It's the only guy with a conscience. I want to give you a chance. You can be with us, but I can't let them go. That's really dark. That is disgusting. I mean, I want the zombies to get at least those guys, not obviously Killian and uh, or Jim, uh, Selena, and Hannah, but mm. that's disgusting. Because the old sea has gone insane. Starting the world again when the rest of us. Is he gonna let the uh, zombie loose, the one that was chained up? What would you do with a diseased little island? Oh, the sergeant. They quarantined us, Paul. He's insane. So I'm gonna go. I might have missed the dialogue. Uh, did he say that it's not happening around the world? It's just there, or do something to that effect. Oh. Please believe me, I'm not interested. These guys are disgusting. Get up, you move! Get out! Dare you disrespect that man? He's the one who created the nuclear missile. Come on in, you pansies. Do me first. What? Oh, Wait, just no. use the gun. I do not want him to get shot. Is that how you're gonna let your sergeant go out, Jones? Shoot him then. No, you won't. You're gonna let him stick me, are you? Like a f dog. I'm gonna enjoy this. Ah! Do me! Do me! What do you wanna say? Hey, do ya? Get up! Get up, bro! Dude, the sound There's design. Oh! Yeah. oh. That was, that was smart. smart. Dude, the sound design in this movie is insane. Yeah, it's really good. They're making a lot of noise right now, too. <laughs> making a lot. Did he take his shirt off? What? How did he take his shirt off? Yeah, with the handcuffs and all that? Yeah, what? Oh. I just ripped off his body, I guess. 
It's not looking good. It's not looking good for our boy here. Almost thought he was about to fall into a sharp object the way it was uh, framed there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so the quarantine is just specifically in that area, so that's what he was saying. Because otherwise there wouldn't be planes flying over like that. Go to the master bedroom. Oh, Pick my out a wide God. Sword. Yes, sir. I've never wanted to see people get zombified so bad like I do with these gentlemen. Or yeah, pigs, was, rather. Yeah, this is pretty messed up. Come on, it's only dressing up. Oh, come on. Come on, Killian Murphy. Just please get back there and save them. <laughs> oh. You need to leave me alone with Hannah. If you want us to get changed, you have to leave the room. Okay. Smart. Ten seconds of disgustingness to get them out. Smart. Yeah. We're gonna eat these, Hannah. Okay? Eat these. Are you trying to kill me? Is the volume? I'm making you not care. Sorry. Someone's on a blockade. Is that a crap ton of them, or is it just Killian Murphy? Oh, he's making noise that's going to attract them? That's a cool shot with the rain dropping down. Curious how he got the cuffs off. Ooh, I like that. That was awesome. That was a cool shot. I mean, he's in survival. Remember that scene they, they talked about, who have you killed before? It's in survival mode right now. Yeah. Batman. Yeah, seriously. He also auditioned for Batman. He did. I saw the audition, actually, where he's in the Batman Forever suit. And mm -hmm. he's also, he actually looked good in the Batman suit. It's just his, and he, he sounded okay, too. It's just his Bruce Wayne I was not crazy about. Go! Oh! So that was actually a good choice by uh, Christopher Nolan uh, to have him as Scarecrow, not Batman. But it turned out fine. I mean, he's got a phenomenal career, and him and Christopher Nolan have an amazing relationship. As apparent by uh, his casting in Oppenheimer. Yeah. Oh, damn. Almost feels like the Predator right now. Is that Was that a zombie we just saw? I think so. Oh, killed the engine. Ah! Damn. Oh, you are oh, in trouble, you, sir. You are screwed. That is terrible. Oh, my God. I need her to take a machete in between his legs. Oh, letting Jim go? Yep. I had a feeling. Oh. Ah! We're gonna get out of here. Stay with that, Hannah. Stay with it. Don't worry. I feel fine. <laughs> oh god, she's chilling. Yeah. Going back for him. Let's go. Come on, Ed. What can I do now? Ah! Now double puke on him. He finally stays with your life. The music, though, is really good. Surprise! Oh, oh, that was awesome. That was cool. Yeah, but you should have kept the gun. Should have kept the gun. That would, that would smart. Oh, I have heard this music before on Pandora. Uh, I listen to movie music on Pandora, Danny Elfman Radio, and I've heard this music before. And whenever I've heard it, I'm like, this sounds familiar. And then I see it 28 days later. It's this music. Oh, it's so good. It's great.
she hiding in the bathtub? Ah. It's good she had those pills because she probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have gotten way more scared if she hadn't had them. Yeah, she'd be screaming and, and reveal their location. It's really an uh, incredible transformation for uh, his character, for Jim. Yeah. From yeah. beginning to end. Mm hmm. Come on. Yeah, it's from, almost like the roles have reversed with him and Selena. Yeah, from helpless to hero. Yeah. I just need a mind, no, I just need someone to drink. Ah. Whoa. Damn. Oh my oh. god. Oh. Damn. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh. Yo. Oh my god. Woo. Oh, oh cuz he thinks he's a f zombie. Oh yeah. Oh, she thinks she's a monster. That's crazy. Why wouldn't you say anything? That was longer than a heartbeat. Oh. I mean, it was a good moment, but you still should have said something. Right. It was a callback around the way you thought. Yeah. It was all bloody. Um, oh. guys, you got to find Hannah? Yeah. Like Glad you're kissing, but find Hannah. <laughs> oh, thank God. God ah! oh, damn. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I thought he was biting you. He's kissing her. Huh. You stole me. It's a long story. We have to get out of here. Come on. Dude, that gun you got rid of could help right now. Yep. If you clear the place out, this is a good place to actually stay. Just saying. Oh, no. You killed all my boys. Eccleston. Oh no. no! Oh no. Ah! Patch up our boy, please. The gates are locked! Do it! Whoa. What? Don't tell me that's the movie end. Please don't tell me. Oh, okay. <laughs> 28 days after that? Or is that just where... So we're at 56 days later from the initial beginning. Oh, okay. 28 days after that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you thought that was the titles? Imagine they just ended there? Yeah. I was going to say, you can't just end right there. Right. I wasn't I wasn't ready for, for round three of, of nude Killian. Crazy shot. Very it's like a drone evil. shot. Yeah, it's like very it. evil dead esque. Yeah, but they don't have the drone. monster cam. Ah! Yeah, clearly some time has passed because his hair has grown out. Yeah, but right doesn't have too much of a beard for 28 days. It's coming! Well, I imagine he's been shaving this whole time. Oh, I just thought it figured he was in bed passed out, but yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, oh they're trying to get its attention. Mm. Oh, smart. Come on, see it. See it. Hello. Wow. Do you want hello or help? Do you think he saw us this time? Oh, Danny, Danny Boyle. Boyle. Hey, hey. It was 120, 100, was it 42 hours or 127 hours? The one with the... Uh, 127 hours 20, later? Uh, with the one with James Franco, right? Is that well, James Franco or... The um, one where he gets stuck on the mountain to his arm, right? I thought that was Ryan Reynolds. Oh, that's buried. You're right. Yeah. You're right. And then he also did uh, Slumdog Millionaire, right? Yeah, I think yeah. so. I don't know. You know wow. more about this than... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Aaron. School me. <laughs> You're, uh, you're, the, you're the wizard here. Man. No, I mean, uh, wow. Um, that was a very intense film. 
Um, we mentioned earlier, you can definitely tell that uh, Neil Druckmann and the whole team um, of uh, Last of Us, which we are, and obviously many of you are. Oh, it was Naomi Harris. Okay, cool. You're right. Um, which uh, we are, and many of y'all are humongous fans of Last of Us. Obviously, they didn't copy them or anything, but there was clearly lots of inspiration from this film. Oh, definitely. Um, which is awesome. I can see why. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Um, but yeah, this was this film was extremely intense. Uh, it was really scary. Mm -hmm. Um I like to, you know, whenever I'm, I, I don't watch too many zombie things because I get easily scared. I try and obviously I try and save them for reactions. Um, <laughs> but um, I like that they it was really balanced. Um, what yeah. I mean by that, they didn't overdo it with the zombie stuff. Like it, there was a lot of uh, human emotion in the film. There's a lot of character depth in it. I really love what they did with Killian Murphy's character with Jim. I mean, obviously just waking up in that hospital bed, I idea how he got there or how long he's been there or whatever but um it's besides the point but just where he you know just being in such a confused state of mind at the very beginning um and just watching him grow throughout the film um just taking also that father-esque figure you know uh, in the family dynamic uh father-esque figure too of just you know kind of the husband-esque uh role you know with Naomi Harris's character with Selena and then the father figure with Hannah um and then just growing like in in survival mode and you know, growing as a character, I, I really loved his character a lot. And again, just the arc he goes through mm -hmm. um, and the transformation he goes through, I thought he gave such an incredible performance. Um, I'm so glad I get to see so many. I, I haven't really watched other than Batman Begins and a few other films. I haven't watched too many Killian Murphy films. So, yeah, you know, just uh, watching this and then uh, Oppenheimer uh, when it came out uh, recently in theaters and now this, like, He's really got range as an actor. I'm just so, imp every time I watch him, just so impressed by him. I actually really wish we would have got more of him in just the Dark Knight trilogy in general. Um, that's yeah. that's uh, neither here nor there, though. Um, but he's just an incredible actor. But I really did love the setup for the story, the the world building we got. I, I don't know if there were other films in the series. I, I don't know too much about this world. But um, I really did enjoy the film. Uh, again, it was just so well balanced with the horror, uh, the, uh, the human stuff, um, the character stuff. Oh, really good. What did you think of the film? I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. Uh, I think from the beginning of the movie, it kind of really sets a tone and it captures you in this setting that things are dangerous. Things are lost. Our, our hope is lost. And the movie does a really good job of showing destruction or showing violence without being overt about it. Like the way that the chimps are attacking in the beginning or the yeah. way we see a lot of uh violence come through uh they have this very now i don't want to say shaky cam but it's, it's it's very like jarring it's very like back and forth in the way that it's uh, it's shown you, you don't you know that violence is happening and, yes. the, and the I don't, I'm, I'm lost for words but the way that it's it's presented you don't overtly see it until the very end where you're seeing killian murphy like squish his eyes out you know it's oh, very much God, implied yeah. violence and yeah. when they, you, you do see it it's like oh like oh this is like really intense i think another thing the movie does really well is what this movie's looking at it right now the credits are playing it's a uh, 156 and it's wild because it manages to fit so much plot into such a short Absolutely. amount of time yeah and i was like wow this feels like this three hour epic or like this this multi-chapter thing and it is a multi-chapter thing mm -hmm. but it uses its time really well and it uses the moments we spend with these characters really really well and i like that it has this balance between the lighter moments and the darker moments and you know you see the range of, of humanity over the course of these under two hours and yeah the way that they really presented the mm -hmm. way that it was shot was really interesting you know had this kind I of like that, old yeah. kind of camcorder look to it uh the way that the music came into play over the course of the film was really impactful i might be saying something that's a little controversial we'll see in the comment section again if you guys disagree with me or want to rip me totally up to you um, having said that, uh, well, first of all, Last of Us video game, second, my second favorite video game of all time, as many of you know that, uh, the video, uh, the show, my favorite, uh, video game TV show, one of my favorite TV shows just ever. I, I loved it. So make no mistake. Don't think I'm criticizing it. But one of the things that I was, uh, one of the very rare things I said negatively about it, and I think Greg and I agreed uh, on it when we reacted to it, I said, 
they didn't really show a lot of the um, infected, which I said is fine. You know, you don't have to show the infected like crazy because this movie didn't show a ton of infected as mm-hmm. well. But what, when they did show the infected, which they did in, in uh, Last of Us, it was inc- incredibly infe- <laughs> effective. I was about to say infect. Effective. Um, which, but they did it in a way here that when they weren't on screen, I still felt an incredible sense of danger. Yeah. For whatever reason, again, it's not something, it's a very difficult thing to do. If it was easy to do, you'd nail it every time. But for whatever reason, when the, the infected were not on screen in Last of Us, for whatever reason, a lot of times there were sometimes I definitely felt it, but there were other times where I didn't feel that sense of danger as much yeah. as I did. Like, and again, this is a contained two hour film. So I, I mean, I'm not, again, it's zombie, it's infected versus infected. So that's why I'm making the comparison. Um, but again, there were times in, in the last of us, which again, I love so much, but there were times I did not feel that sense of danger when the infected were not there. And if mm-hmm. you're going to have long stretches of time where there's not infected, which is fine then you better make me feel that sense of danger. And again, maybe y'all didn't feel that way. Maybe I'm alone on that sentiment, but I always felt that way in this film. I, oh, whenever there was no infected on screen, I always felt the sense of danger that they could pop out at any second or just in general, we were in a sense of danger for our, the characters. Yeah, man. Uh, I mean, hey, you guys saw us. We were, <laughs> I mean, we were saying like, oh, they're going to, Something's going to happen at any moment in between the, the positive moments and the negative moments or like more so the, uh, the happy moments and the moments of dread, even you felt that ever present throughout the entire film. And I can wholeheartedly agree with what Andrew said. And yeah, I think it's a compliment to the director and the writing because there was this, this hopeless feeling throughout the entire course of the movie, even when there were the moments of levity levity. And I think you do need those moments to have something to root for. Cause otherwise it gets just like really, dark and really dreary and don't get me wrong it was that for a lot of the movie and there's some really messed up images in here like i kind of said a little earlier the fact that there were so many things about the way that the action was shot right Mm -hmm. but then there were so many other scenes where it showed all of this stuff where the dead bodies and oh, the, the yeah. baby and the people at the market or yeah. the people at the the church diner, at, the, at the church at the beginning it's just like oh my god mm-hmm. They really set the tone. Yeah. Even if it wasn't infected, they really set the tone for what kind of movie we were going into. And yeah, I I think this is one of the better zombie movies of, I've ever for, seen, to be honest sure. with you. For sure. 100%. Yeah. Uh, there's also two great lessons I will take from this film. Um, if I ever get into a zombie apocalypse, uh, work in groups of pair. But I think that's a lesson we should already know. And I got to have a, some Pepsi with me. If you're going to survive <laughs> an apocalypse, you got to have Pepsi. Got to have that Pepsi. Yes, product placement. <laughs> um, but yeah, final thoughts. Uh, like you said, one of the better zombie films also too. Uh, I, we did not mention, although I don't want to really get too much into it, what they were trying to do with uh, Selena and Hannah. Uh, and despicably disgusting. Gross, I, man. Yeah, awful. and I mean... Awful, awful. Yeah, uh, I'm so glad they got their due there in the end. I mean, I'm not even going to call them human characters at that point. I mean, you're worse than... Monsters. Than yeah, monsters. They, I mean, yeah, that's uh, an understatement there. <laughs> but uh, glad they got their due. But again, very well acted by Christopher Eccleston and uh, the, uh, the rest of the crew of uh, guys that they got, uh, those actors. But yeah, one of the better zombie films. Uh, great world building, Killing Murphy. Absolutely killed it. Great job again. Uh, dude just always seems to impress me with his uh, performances. Even Brandon Gleason, it was really cool to see uh, him in, uh, in the film. I mean, he wasn't in the film too much, but uh, I was glad. Again, I love the whole family dynamic in it as well. Um, but, yeah, again, really good balance between the horror. Um, some moments of, uh, like you said, levity with some of the, uh, the human stuff, uh, with the character moments, and also with some of the comedy with the humor. Uh, but yeah, really. And the music by John Murphy. Mm. I told you guys that I had uh, heard that. Um, there were scenes like two where they're just traveling. You hear that ominous eerie music, uh, but also too at the end where he's going around just having his hero moment, uh, uh, Jim. And, uh, I've told you, I'd heard that music on Pandora, uh, station with, uh, Danny Elfman radio. And I'd always wonder, like, what is this movie? 28 days later, I'd heard of it, but I didn't really know too much about it. But now I can put in my head what that music is from so that's really cool but all in all i I really enjoyed this film it was a really good one yeah yeah i'll say uh final thoughts for me uh i love the the music love the action uh 
can see now all the inspiration from the other properties that we've grown to love within the zombie genre yeah. that were all inspired by this film seemingly or mostly inspired by this film. Uh, yeah, I'm and, happy. And Marvel the, too. <laughs> yeah, and Marvel. What if Avengers Endgame? Right, right, right. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm happy we had the experience of, of watching it. I hope you guys enjoyed us watching it too. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us on this adventure. It has been a pleasure. Uh, keep in tune for other videos that we are on or the rest of the Row Rejects crew are on. And yeah, we will see you later. Peace. <laughs>